If we follow the same principle that we've talked about with the other sloping lies, now we get to a ball that's above our feet. Let's do the same thing and consider what will the hill do to the golf ball and then what will the hill do to me? Well, the hill will help the ball go higher. The launch pad of this slope is going to fly the ball high up into the air. And as we know with our other clubs, if we hit the ball higher, generally we actually hit the ball shorter. So if I had a 150 yard shot from here and I would normally be hitting a 7 iron from 150, if I hit from this upslope, chances are that 7 iron only goes about 140 or even 130 because it's going to launch up in the air, not going to get the same degree of penetration forwards. So I might have to change my club to, to get the appropriate distance. So that might now be a 6 iron or a 5 iron because the launch pad effect is going to hit the ball higher. The next consideration is what happens to me as a golfer from this situation. Well, from here, I can feel like the hill is trying to pull me backwards. It's trying to pull me onto my trail leg. Now, if I make a swing from here, I might actually throw my body weight back as well. And then it really drags me backwards. As I go backwards that way, I then follow through and all my body weight stays on my trail leg because I can't drive up the hill enough. And in that respect, if I'm leaning backwards, I might have a tendency to pull the ball slightly to the left-hand side as a right-handed golfer as well. So it's, a, it's really important when I set up to this ball that I manage my expectations in terms of what my body weight's going to do. And actually, I want to work a bit harder to stop my body weight going back down the hill and drive myself back up the hill. So from that setup position, I might just set my trail leg in a bit more of a, like a starting block position, ready to push. And as I turn back, I then push up the hill and I can try and finish a bit taller onto my front leg to stop it leaning back and hooking around the corner. So we know the ball's gonna go higher. It might have a tendency to hook unless I can follow through. I also want to set my shoulders, my knees, and my hips in line with the hill. I don't want to lean into the hill. Some golfers feel instinctively like they want to lean into the hill here. The club will descend into the turf and bury itself, and it won't be smooth enough as it hits through the golf ball. So we want to angle everything so we're with the hill allowing for a little bit of draw and then driving ourselves up the hill to a good follow through try and make sure we don't get caught on that back leg and i can really drive myself forward now that ball has gone very very high and has gone about 110 yards and that was with an eight iron so it really just flew super high in the air didn't get very far at all and then come down with snow on it, which is what I expected from this slope. And as long as you're aware of that, you can make the appropriate decisions with the club. So club selection is important. Allow the ball to draw, particularly if you're gonna get caught on your back leg, angle your body with the hill, and then fight your way back up to a good follow through and don't get caught leaning back. And hopefully by following those tips, your sloping lies, particularly upslopes, will get better.